It was just a new model. Daffall. Two patio doors. <laughs> 2012. And these sheep. Five. We've come into the studio. All right. You know what? Fine. We're professional. We're I will. I will do it. <laughs> yeah. This changes everything. Alfie now, who sits downstairs and does all the visuals, has to now sit through the glass at four office desks that have been shoved together <laughs> like school. Twelve pieces of A4 paper, and put the Radio X logo on there. Oh, it is, isn't it? Me and Pippa did this on Friday. The chair is so low, I can't reach the equipment. <laughs> I'm like a child. <laughs> that can't reach the kitchen counter. Alfie, what does that do to the cameras if Chris does Oh, Alfie's sorry, do you want panic. to hear from Alfie? Yeah. There's no talkback, oh. but don't worry, the new talkback is this. <laughs> it's it's pat- I hope, and I, I kid you not, <laughs> it's ladies and gentlemen, doors. they're two patio doors. <laughs> It's not even a, 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 it's not even a, a studio door, soundproof door. It's a patio door. Listen, here it is. <laughs> patio door number one. Hi, Alfie. Hello. There you go. It's <laughs> good, isn't it? Four. Who's written this? He showed off his natural grey hair. No, I didn't. <laughs> After ditching the dye. No, I haven't. As he headed to his car. No, I wasn't. In his Converse trainers. God, God, that's great journalism. There's always that the quinoa thing. Who's eating quinoa every day? <laughs> Who are these people? And also, how much fruit, veg and quinoa would I have to be consuming to get it up to 2,000 calories? Will you check these facts? Oh, Lord. One cup of cooked quinoa contains 222 calories. Oh, oh, I'm downing quinoa quinoa like I'm a crazed man. About nine cups of quinoa. I'll be at lunch today. What do you want to drink, sir? Could I have a glass of quinoa, please? (laughs) Instead of uh, showing off his six stone, could it just be Chris Moyles looked great? How about how about just no one cares? (laughs) Mm. How about nobody cares? And walks through street. Do you know? Do you know who also (laughs) walked down the street yesterday? Everybody. Mm. Everyone. Three. Two. First of all, what's wrong? If sweet potato no, no. was so bloody tasty, why pretend that they're fries? Yeah. Why do that? Why do that? Yeah, it's, why do that? It's chips with sugar on. Yeah, be honest. Sure. And shoot me down if I'm wrong. Mm. Right? Maybe, let's go back 20 years, okay. 15 years, 10 years. Mm-hmm. How many people mm. did you know in your life yeah. that regularly ate sweet potato? Uh, none. Right? Zero. All, right. No. all of a sudden. Sweet potato fries come along, yeah. and these sheep oh, no. go, Ah, I have some of these. Oh, sweet potato fries. You weren't even. How gullible are you? The sweet potato, right, uh, company sitting there going, Oh, no one likes our sweet potato. Somebody that goes, Why don't we chop it up and make it look like chips? Call them a sweet potato fries. And you all fell for it, didn't yeah. you? You all yeah. fell for it. Next thing is, oh, sweet potato fries, please. Yeah, don't like them. We don't like sweet potatoes. I thought they were chips, so I got some bread that came with the cheese and bread, mm. and I put a couple in, folded them over. As I'm going in, I went, who ordered the chips? Someone like, they're sweet potato fries. Uh, oh. oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Back in olden days... Before coronavirus, I lived on my own. Mm. Mm. And I was very, very happy. Yeah. <laughs> now, lady from America came over. Oh, I didn't choose these. <laughs> Stiff listening. L- lady from America. Hoover. Mm. Hoover. Mm. Oh, Hoover. I've heard of Hoover. It's a trademark brand name. It is. It's not Bosch, though, is it? So... Off they go, my lovely <laughs> Bosch washing machine and dryer. So the old one wasn't broken? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. So Tiff goes from this. Literally, it's this. It's like not to 60 in a Ferrari. A woman from America. Button broken, had enough of this. New dryer on its way. It's going to be delivered tomorrow. Right. So in answer to your question, we now have a brand new state-of-the-art dryer sitting in the hallway, right. wrapped up, all ready to go. Yeah. Oh, but you haven't asked me what make it is. Oh, no, don't say... Bro. It's a bloody Hoover! <laughs> it's the same one, just a new model! <laughs>
won. We won a podcast award. Did what? we? No, no, of course we didn't. We didn't. Oh. Five nominees. Oh, don't say a bad Five word. Five nominees they were. Five. <laughs> so it was best radio podcast, right? Yeah. yeah. So Santa D- Daily, yeah. is that what it's called? It was. So that must Go be a there. radio show that's on for what, a month? Yeah. Yeah. But it, it doesn't exist for 11 months of the year. And, and Six shows a week, we're flogging our nuts off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Meanwhile, that, fun fun kids. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, and who runs fun kids? Oh, I can't remember. Fun, fun who is that, Matt? Uh, Matt, uh, Matt, Matt. Matt Deegan. Matt Deegan. And who, who started off the British Podcast Awards? Uh, one of the founders was Matt Deegan. Matt, Matt Deegan, Deegan, that's right, yeah. yeah. That sounds fair. Fair. Sounds fair enough to me. Sounds very, very fair. Six nominees, three awards. What do we get? Chuffle! <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> Naffle! And to make it look fair, Santa Daly didn't get anything either. Oh, good. Wait, Which not... is a, we- a weird thing because it's made by the people who run the awards! They're so dumb, they don't even give themselves an award. <laughs> if I did an award ceremony and I got nominated, I'd win. Yeah, every time. Radio. The Chris Moyle Show.